YouTube, what's going on, guys? Monthly awards program came out for August. Everything's done. We got Mookie Lightning card. I'm going to break down all these cards, tell you which ones I think are good, if the whole program is a W or an L, and uh, showcase some a little bit of gameplay of uh, probably Mookie Betts and like the big cards that I think are worth taking a look at. So let's go to the 96 overall pack first. Alexis Diaz, guys, on paper. I'm going to I'm gonna blur my camera here, get rid of it so you guys can see it. On paper, to me, he is precisely Edwin Diaz's all-star card, but with not max velocity and worse control. He's just Edwin Diaz diet they literally copy and pasted him from, like off of his brother it's just it's not a very good card i would not use it no outlier not even 99 below christian walker somehow at 360 370 ish versus righties with seven bombs but only got 101 power don't worry though he's got 99 defense double 69s and armor and accuracy uh not a card to look at I, I don't think he's interesting at all if you're a diamondbacks fan huzzah but other than that not a, not one for me or i think you guys should look at George Kirby, uh, he got a card, 110 BB per nine is cool, so he'll dot. But let me tell you something, guys. This this guy is in the running um, for, with Brady Singer. Put him in the octagon for a mid-off. Player of the month pitchers, low K per nine, low hits per nine, a control freak, but he's just got nothing redeemable other than a decent pitch mix. He's gonna get shelled. He'll never get a swing and a miss from this guy. You could literally give the guy no bat and he'll still make contact. So not for me. Jeff McNeil, biased, but I actually like this card. He's not gonna swing the greatest bat. He'll have great contact and vision. That 119 clutch, you know we need it. He plays great defense everywhere you want him to. At parallel five, he'll be a diamond just about everywhere at all of his positions. I like him. I like him a lot just because I'm a Mets fan and I think he'll, his power will play up. Somehow got less power versus lefties than John Burr. Birdie did, even though John Birdie literally hit zero homers in a month, but Jeff McNeil hit one against lefties and slugged. He had an OPS of over a thousand. I don't know. I don't know how they come up with these, but I like Jeff McNeil. Fun swing. If you like him, you like him. Lars Newtbar, who was across the board worse against righties than Christian Walker, but got higher numbers versus righties. Uh, this card literally does not know what a left-handed pitcher looks like. He's never seen it. Righty, though, he'll do the job if you like his swing. He's got that 125 discipline and clutch, baby, because he has got X grit. That's what this guy's got. 84 fielding, 88 arm, 85 reaction, 84 speed. So he's just another uh, offline grinding card that'll be fun to use versus righties and that you'll platoon with. Peter Fairbanks on paper looks okay. He's got uh, great per nines. That 125 pitching clutch got me got me having a third leg that's wooden, but no outlier. And, you know, he's got three pitches. So to me, the pitch mix might hurt him a little bit. I'm going to be honest. Give him a shot. He might be effective for you. I think he's missing something. I think he's missing a little bit of something, some, but not a great 96 overall round. To be honest with you guys, I'd like to look for positives here. I thought Riley's program was a fat W. I think so far, 96 overall pack is very weak. 98 overall pack Bregman who slugged higher versus righties than lefties but got less power versus righties I don't understand another Bregman that's a lefty killer 125 clutch because what the f would we do without that 87 reaction plays a bunch of positions very well decent uh, actually speed's kind of low at 50 he's got some quirks that you like road warrior and fighter overall not gonna wow you I mean he's just too similar to his 93 that does the same thing he kills lefties but if you're a Breggy fan you can get away with him against righties he'll do the thing I think at least kind of well Randy Avro Serena same kind of deal as Bregman okay versus righties lefties he crushes 125 well, I'm not even gonna say it anymore 81 fielding 81 reaction 91 speed and right field so he'll play a really solid outfield. He'll run well. Base running aggressiveness and steal are very high. So he'll fly for you and he'll crush lefties. I like this card. I think he's fun. But once again, just not going to wow you. And Zach Gallen, I like this guy for lightning personally. I thought he can get a lightning card. If he had a sinker, he'd be better. Slatter, cutter, a little bit redundant here. It's going to be tough to get away with a guy who has 77 velo with no sinker. So he has everything either moving straight to a lefty or going into them. It's going to be hard to get a lefty out, but he does have pretty insane hits per nine. K per nine and control slower than I thought it'd be. I thought he'd get at least 95, but that pitching clutch baby, ya yeah, yeah, ye. Um, so again, you know, just not wowing me. The 98s. I still, Brian Reynolds monthly awards card from whenever that came out, still clears these guys in my opinion. And then now we get to Jim Tomei. Very fun card. Wish we got him a month ago. Still think that'd be the way to do these things. Righty killer. One of the best bench bats in the game versus righties. And a very, very, very solid starter if you want to use him in a good with Tomei swing. There's one, baby. There's one. Mookie Betts, the lightning card. On paper, I think he's good. The defense is unnecessarily high, I think. I don't think you need all that because you start them all at 94 and it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying when you parallel? So whatever. Base running aggressiveness and steel kind of take up a lot there. Speed's not great, but a lefty destroyer. The 125 clutch as we know it. 103, 109 versus righties, which is pretty good. Lefties, he's a killer. Vision's decent and he's got all these quirks. So to me, I like Mookie. I think he's good. I think Mookie himself is a W and I think he's a very solid card overall, especially people who love him. Yep, that was easy. <laughs> that was easy. Hopefully, I'm better with this Mookie than I was with the other one. Uh, I just think overall, looking at this program as it's as an entirety, I'm not a fan. Uh, I think it's I think it's an L. It's just too many weak cards overall, unfortunately. 
I think Mookie's a W, but too many weak cards overall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind. I'm gonna get it done. The best way I'm gonna do it is fill my team with tops nows and monthly awards as I get them. Put tops nows first. Get the tops now missions done. If we go over to the, is there missions? Head to the moment first, I think. I don't even know where that thing is. It's somewhere else. I'll do all that stuff there. And now, a little other content that dropped too. Let me go over it as well. Headliner Mark Pryor. This is one of the worst cards I've ever seen in this game, to be honest. Just 120 stamina, not 119 pitching clutch, and 122k per nine. Just other than k per nine being somewhat decent, the rest of them are u are useless. His, and it's unfortunate he's a victim of his pitch mix. Double curveballs is just not going to work. No two seam, nothing doesn't throw hard. Hits per nine is so low. Just sad. Sad for Cubs fans, but if you like him, pick him up, use him. I don't want to tell you not to use Use them. Fight of blue. I don't mind this card. Hits per nine and K per nine aren't insane, but they're good enough. Good stamina, good control. Five pitch mix with a hard slider, which I do like. No outlier. I thought that would have made this card a lot better, but unfortunately he does not have it. Switch hitter, which is fun. 99 Jeff Bagwell got a great great numbers versus lefties. Good overall hitting stats, but unfortunately he just has an awful swing in my opinion. If you like him, give him a shot. Robin Yount, honestly, on paper is amazing. This card is like phenomenal on paper, but if he can just actually have a decent swing, maybe he'd be good. If you like his swing, you can do really well with this card. He's got great numbers. I mean, he's a phenomenal card on paper. Jason Hayward, another guy who just hits right. He's kind of okay and is just a defensive filler from the base round. Richie Ass Cheeks, uh, same deal. Just a contact slap guy. Catfish Hunter. I wish they just gave, I wish they got rid of his rights. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sorry. Carew, I love Carew. Kills righties. That power plays way higher. Don't sleep on it. Trust. Orlando Cepeda, Viva Bariqua, baby. Good numbers on paper. Not a huge fan of his swing, but he does have the numbers you need. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So that's the, that's the content for today. Hopefully, you guys find that uh, interesting. To me, overall, this content update um, was a bit of an L. There's some Tops Now cards. Go over to the September Monthly Awards. We have a 94. I don't know why we're still getting 94s, but 94 Connor Wong. Just okay. Uh, 94 Matt Duffy. Got great contact. If a lefty comes in the game, he, he starts hitting queefs everywhere, but not terrible. I've seen worse. Kyle Bradish, just Joe Random pitch mix, and he's somehow got a higher hits per nine than any of those monthly awards, guys. Pitchers, whatever. Wilmer Flores, GOAT. Mets legend. Wilmer Flores, pretty even all the way across the board. 114 clutch because you know he needs it. It actually makes sense here. Um, Nick Gordon, this card rakes righties. 34 disciplines, hilarious. Rakes righties and plays decent defense. Fun card for a pinch hit appearance, I guess. And then you collect all of them, and then you get a 97 overall. They're feeling generous. Jake McCarthy like a diet Corbin Carroll just with a little bit um a lot less contact and um the arm isn't really there but he's still a pretty decent card for what we have that's the content drop today guys I hope you uh like this stuff if you do don't let anything I say about the cards get you down enjoy them YouTube I hope you guys enjoyed this little demo of the two cards that I think are the most relevant Jim Tomei and Mookie Betts that's really it. The rest of the cards are use them at your discretion if you want to use them. If you, if you don't want to, I don't think any of them are musts. I really don't. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching the video, man, and enjoy the content if you like it. I'll see you next video. Peace.